Hey ladies and gentlemen, Qualcomm has launched its new chipset that is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 which sits exactly in between the flagship series of chipsets that is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 series and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 series which are mostly found in the budget smartphones. Well today in this video we shall be comparing the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 with its former Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 and a powerful MediaTek chipset that is the MediaTek Helio P60. But before we get into this massive comparison, if you have landed new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel because regularly I keep on bringing interesting tech videos like these and along with that press that bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. Having done that, let's jump into the comparison between the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710, 660 and the Helio P60. Okay, so first is that all these three chipsets are an octa-core chipset and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 will be having two Cryo 360 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and six Cryo 360 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. Now the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 chipset will be manufactured using the 10 nanometer FinFET technology and it will be a 64-bit chipset. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 is again an octa-core chipset but it is having 8 Cryo 260 cores and clocked at a frequency 2.2 GHz. And this is manufactured using 14 nanometer technology and it is again a 64-bit processor. The MediaTek Helio P60 is also an octa-core chipset but it is having 4 Cortex-A73 cores clocked at 2 GHz and 4 Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 2 GHz. Now this processor is manufactured using 12 nanometer technology and this is again a 64-bit processor. So here Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 is at par because of its 10 nanometer manufacturing technology though the other two are also good performer. Talking about the graphics processor, the Snapdragon 710 will be having an Adreno 616 GPU that is the latest one from Qualcomm Snapdragon and the 660 will be having an Adreno 512 GPU and the Helio P60 will be housing a GPU that is the ARM Mali G72 MP3. Now again here, the Adreno 616 will be the superior GPU to handle almost any game you throw at it and it can also handle the higher resolution displays very well. So talking about the camera, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 will be supporting up to 32 megapixel of a single camera and up to 22 megapixel dual cameras. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 will be however supporting a single camera of up to 24 megapixel and a dual camera of up to 16 megapixel. The Helio P60 will be supporting a single camera up to 32 megapixel again and dual camera with 16 plus 24 megapixel setup. Now all these three chipsets have the capability of 4K Ultra HD video recording as well as 4K video playback at 30fps. Now here the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 is at par because it can support a quad HD plus resolution of display while the other two can support only up to a full HD plus resolution. Now all these three chipsets can support dual band Wi-Fi however the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 and the 660 can support 5.0 Bluetooth. Unfortunately the Helio P60 cannot even support the NFC module. But here we can see that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 can support a higher download speeds up to 800 megabits per second. Now that is a good thing. Now the GPS support provided by all these three chipsets are quite similar in performance. However, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 will be shipping with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus and the 660 will be shipping with Quick Charge 4. But again the MediaTek Helio P60 is not much behind in this as it can also support Quick Charge which they are calling it as Pump Express 4. So finally the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 wins the war as it can support much higher resolution games and it has also a support of up to Quad HD plus resolution of display. But however the other two chipsets will not be performing bad and in most cases the difference would be unnoticeable. As overall the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 as overall the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 will be having a 20% boosted performance over the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 and the Helio P60. However, in the GPU segment the Mali G72 MP3 GPU of the Helio P60 processor fails miserably in front of the Adreno 512 and the Adreno 616. 
We cannot even expect a much better performance from the GPU of the Helio P60 in addition to the support of the Full HD Plus resolution display which this GPU will be handling. Now the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 is having a much higher lead in the battery performance because of its manufacturing technology using the 10 nanometer FinFET technology which necessarily means that the smartphone having the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 will be offering much more battery backup than the smartphones running the other two chipsets. Now all these three chipsets will be having an AI support which will be used for the facial recognition and the bokeh blur effect. Now as the final verdict, the Helio P60 chipset is comparable in terms of performance with the Snapdragon 710 and the Snapdragon 660. And now you can find the Helio P60 in less than 10,000 rupees in the Oppo Realme 1 which is quite powerful in this price segment and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 might take some time to ship with the smartphones but be rest assured that these smartphones will be priced in the upper mid-range budget segment that is above 20,000 to 30,000 Indian rupees. So I hope this comparison video helped you in getting an idea about the performance between these three chipsets. You also let me know what you think is a better performer among these three chipsets. Share this video with all your friends and before leaving make sure to subscribe to the channel along with pressing the bell icon beside it. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.